And welcome back to The Kevin Wright Show. This is my quick review for Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The refreshing thing about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is that this is an original story. And in the era where most movies are remakes based on franchises out of comic books that have already been written, stories that we've already seen, and mythology that we've already seen, it's fun to get original new movie scripts that make a lot of sense. This is a long movie. It's two hours and 45 minutes, and um, it feels long, but it's well worth your time. It's well worth the experience. The story is really simple. The story is about an aging actor, Leonardo DiCaprio, who's kind of missing out on some gigs and just watching his career slip by and he needs some inspiration he needs to get re-inspired again and he kind of experiences that in this movie Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt are best friends and they're working through life in old time Hollywood, 1969 Hollywood. One of the side stories here is the Manson murders that took place um, at the home of Sharon Tate, right next door to Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt's characters. But, spoiler alert, Quentin Tarantino makes this into a fairy tale. He makes this movie into a fairy tale about the old times of Hollywood, about Hollywood in the 60s, Hollywood in the golden age of movies. And this movie is a love letter and a tribute to Los Angeles Angeles into Hollywood. The city itself plays a character here and that's kind of what makes it fun. Part of the fairy tale that plays out is that instead of the Sharon Tate murders taking place and the five people who got murdered uh, tragically and made national headlines, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio intercept the murderers at the very climax of this movie and save Sharon Tate and she goes on to live. Quentin Tarantino's rewriting history just like he did in Inglorious Bastards. That's where this movie takes on a fairy tale type. But the ending of this movie isn't really the, the crux of this movie. It's not really the focus. It's a fun little tidbit. It's a fun little piece that adds to the nostalgia of Hollywood. I like it. I think it honors the murder victims and sends praise to them. But the reason you're gonna go see this movie, the reason you're gonna love this movie is the detail and the scope. And Tarantino has recreated Hollywood. For those of us who couldn't be there, for those of us that are a little bit too young to have known what Hollywood was like in the 60s, he's given us an opportunity to see what it was like, what it looked like on set, what it looked like to film a movie, what it looked like to live and go to the drive-in theater and go to the old-timey diners and to drive around with a lot less regulation and a lot less hype and just to see what it meant to live in Hollywood and to live in Los Angeles. This is a slow moving movie. I like to look at this movie more as little vignettes and if you can enjoy those little vignettes and enjoy each individual scene for the beauty and the art that they are, I think you'll have a blast with this movie. I loved it. I'm going to see it multiple times and I think it holds up to multiple viewings as well. The main reason you got to go see this movie is for the performance of Leonardo DiCaprio. His performance is stunning. He does some scenes that are really meta. We get to see him perform as Leonardo DiCaprio, but then also act on stage as an actor in the movie. So it's a very meta sequence and it's fantastic to see a performer like Leonardo just put all his talents on display. And this movie is one big highlight to him. There's some interesting thoughts here. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is about the end of the megastar. It's about the end of like the leading man. And it, that narrative is talked about throughout this movie. And we kind of experience that in our world today. You know, a leading man can't really carry a franchise. It's got to have uh, mythology. It's got to have a big franchise energy to it. We've got people like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. We've got people like Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt who are still doing it. But those days are kind of ending. You now need a big magical storyline to carry a Hollywood franchise. In the old days, they would sign an actor like Steve McQueen to five movies. They would sign somebody like Paul Newman to five movies with one studio. And just his name alone would carry on these franchises in the box office take. But things have changed now and Quentin Tarantino has given a little bit of commentary on that. To me, this is just Quentin Tarantino saying, I grew up as a kid, as an eight or nine year old in 1960s Hollywood, and I'm remembering these things. I'm remembering my life. I'm remembering what it looked like and smelt like and felt like. And he's giving us that experience. And so it's a slow um, comfort food type of a movie. This is a movie to put on and enjoy and then watch it again in the background. Let it be background music for your life while you're cooking dinner because it's beautiful. I highly recommend once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it might be my favorite Tarantino movie of all time. This has been a quick movie review for The Kevin Wright Show.